Yo, what is up guys? Delboy here, aka Blue Collar Sports TV. Hopefully you guys are doing well. If you're new here, smash that like, hit subscribe, all of that good stuff. So as we know in recent times, Japanese boxing has been going through somewhat of a boom. In the West, Nayoa in UA is widely being regarded as one of the best pound for pound level fighters in the world. Kazuta Ioka just recently has started to get his recognition that he's deserved for a long time. Like I said, Japanese boxing right now is in a real good place, and mainly it's being spearheaded by Kazuta Ioka and Nayawa Inoue. But there are other fighters right now in Japan who are doing some real good things, and who in my opinion are genuine world class talents. For example, guys like Hiroto Kayaguchi, obviously Kosai Tanaka, uh, Ken Shiro, there's some real good fighters in Japan right now, and one of the guys who, in my opinion, potentially could be the next breakout star from Japan is a fighter by the name of Junto Nakatani. Now, Junto Nakatani is a flyweight, and he is the WBO flyweight champion. He recently captured that belt by knocking out Guillermo Magramo in the 8th round back in November 2020, and Nakatani has a record of 21-0 and 0 with 16 knockouts, and he's only 23 years old. Like I said, he operates in the flyweight division. He's a southpaw with an exciting style, and the most interesting thing about Junto Nakatani, he's actually 5'7 with a 67-inch reach in the flyweight division. This guy is massive, and he's got scope to move up several weight classes and maybe become a multi-weight world champion. When you consider this guy's size for a flyweight and his age, I do believe this guy can go through a few divisions and, like I said, maybe become a multi-weight world champion. And, you know, stylistically, I'm, I'm actually very impressed with Junto Nakatani. He seems to be able to fight in a couple of different ways. I've seen Junto Nakatani apply real pressure, utilise his physical advantages, and he'll basically come forwards and break guys down with sheer will, size and strength. But I've also seen Junto Nakatani box behind his jab, maintain range, and land some real educated left hands uh, out of that southpaw stance. So he's a guy who's shown me a couple of different sides to his game, and, you know, at 23 years old, I fully expect to see Junto Nakatani improve as a fighter as he gains more experience in the pro ranks. He's in a real good division right now at flyweight, and there are several good fights for him. I have to say, the fight that really excites me would be Junto Nakatani versus Julio Cesar Martinez in a unification fight. That fight would be an absolute war. Also, a unification fight with Maruti Mufalane, the IBF champion from South Africa, that would be a great fight. Junto Nakatani versus Artem Delakian. Artem Delakian is the WBA champion, so there's another unification fight right there. And also, you could have an all-Japanese fight with Shokamura. He's got some real good options at flyweight, and hopefully we see him in with some of these guys in the near future. There are some great fights to be made, for Junto Nakatani at flyweight. Quite frankly, right now, I would confidently pick Nakatani to beat both Artem Delakian and Maruti Muflane. I think he would beat those champions. I think Julio Cesar Martinez would be a 50-50 fight at this stage. That would be an absolute war. But yeah, for me, Junto Nakatani could be the next breakout star from Japanese boxing. I, th I would highly recommend that you guys check him out. There's not too much footage online of Junto Nakatani, there are a couple of fights on YouTube, um, but yeah, he's a, he's a real fun fighter to watch, especially when he's aggressive. I'll give you a comparison, he actually reminds me, when he's being aggressive, he reminds me of a Southpaw Antonio Margarito, pure pressure, pure size, pure strength, decent power, he's a real, real mean guy, and at 23 years old, he's only going to get better, he's got scope to move through multiple weight classes, and yeah, ultimately I fully expect to see Junto Nakatani have a real good future in the sport of boxing. I think it's highly likely that this guy will be a multi-weight world champion, and he's going to be involved in some barn burner fights, he really is. You know, I started to take notice of Junto Nakatani a couple of years ago when he knocked out Milan Melindo in six rounds. Of course, Milan Melindo at one point was an excellent fighter in the lower weight classes. And, you know, Junto Nakatani just completely bullied him, destroyed him and beat him down 
like he really wasn't a factor. It was a very impressive performance. If you can find that fight online, I would highly recommend that you watch it. But yeah, I would strongly recommend that you guys check out Junto Nakatani and uh, tell me what you guys think. Um, like I said, I'm very excited for this guy's future in the sport of boxing. I would actually like this guy to get some TV coverage in the West because I believe a lot of people are missing out on Junto Nakatani. And hopefully, hopefully we get a, we get a World Boxing Super Series in the flyweight division and we can see this guy against the top fighters at flyweight. That would be amazing, but... Um, I highly recommend that you guys check out Junto Nakatani. In my opinion, this guy could follow Naoya Inoue and Kazuta Ioka to be a star in Japanese boxing. Real, real good fighter, real fun fighter, and a fighter that I highly recommend that you check out. Share your thoughts below. Beanie Guy Delboy. Peace.